Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome back. You are going to experience something incredible today. We desperately need to hit a 10 under round. So if you want to see that, definitely stay tuned. Uh, before we do that, let's go back and let's spend some of our, how do we do this? Golfer skills. Right, so I'm tempted to get the Texas wedge how many points do we have? 10. Well, wow, that's quite a few, isn't it? We could go for the spinner. That's a runner, that's a pick. An, an alternative shot out of bunkers. The strike takes less sand and contacts more of the ball around, more spin and less roll. Spinner. A low flying pitch shot. Where's the back spin? Or maybe it's an approach. No, power approach, knock down, finesse, hack. What does power approach do? God damn mouse in this game, seriously. Well, that's not power. We've got some high flops and stuff. Um, let's put a couple on putting so that we get the Texas wedge. That way we can start putting from the fringe, which I just, I find that so annoying that that's how that's done. But anyway, uh, um, we want the spinner. Long flop, high flop. They're quite useful. Where is the spinner then? That's the runner. It's also the runner. Oh, there's the spinner there. How much is that gonna cost me? Five and I've got six. Let's do it then. That allows us to play a shot and stop it almost dead. And we'll stick one point on power. Which means that every shot we know at the moment is now changed. So that may work against us. You never know. All right, let's do this. Remember, we need 10 under if we're going to pull this, if we're going to stay in it. If we don't get kicked out... 10 under that's quite an ask bearing in mind the best i've ever finished is seven over so i'm looking to knock uh 17 shots off my round is that even humanly possible i don't think so either but that's what we got to do there's no point worrying about it ea sports in conjunction with the rna so proud to spotlight golf's best amateur talent from around the globe. Today, we bring you coverage of the second round. We're not quite last. Things starting to Six over. Take shape Six over. This Friday. My best ever some, round. It is a race for the top prize. For others, it's a fight to stick around for the weekend as we show you the leaderboard. Some good names up there, including our leader. Including our leader. <laughs> What a stupid thing to say. Alright, the wind is kind of against us now. I don't want it to run too far, so we'll drop a club. Yeah, that's a beauty there to get this second round underway. So from a little more than 70 yards, this is second. All right, so that shot is not going to be a good shot for us. That may... That's a runner. Pitch. A spinner. We can only play a spinner on the... All right, we're going to have to overhit this if it's going to... Go far enough. Oh, that's gone very left. Why did that go so far left? Iona Steven is at the first green. This for birdie. Yeah, it's an easy one to under read. There's going to be a lot of break in this from left to right as it gets nearer the hole. As it gets nearer the hole? Are you sure about that? 
So if I look at that, that's uphill and then downhill. It's 2.9 degrees below, but it sure as hell doesn't look like that on the graph. So I, I don't know what to trust. I'm just going to try and get it close, I guess. Oh. No, didn't get that out there far enough, and it winds up sliding by to the right. Safely in. It's a par here at the first. That's an improvement on the last round. Right where he is. Now to the second hole here at the Open Championship, and Frank, what's the best way to attack? Ideally, if you're not the longest hitter, just down the right side. But if uh, if you've got um, some wind conditions, wind behind your back, you can nearly drive this green. Have a look, see what we could do. The wind is very against us. This one started up the right side. Another very nice tee shot. He looks awfully comfortable here with these first couple of drives. That'll be from about 90 yards away. That looks pretty good to me, actually. Oh, that's gone very left. What? The hell was my thumb doing? Got so lucky there. Oh. Are we going to go with the chip shot? Eight iron. Here we go. Oh wow, that's how is that traveling so far? Overswing. It is evidence right there. What the hell? What a difference it makes. That ball went a long way past. How on earth did that happen? How the hell did that happen? That was so unrealistic. It's ridiculous. Not going to get up there, is it? Oh, and he didn't hit that uh -huh. squarely at all. He have 17 feet on this putt. Good Lord. This is not the start we needed at all all right that's in for a double bogey six and that's going to drop him all the way down to eight over par wow that's painful on the tee box here at the third now frank all of these holes look relatively straightforward can a golfer get lured in a kind of a false sense of security off the tee here at the old course? No, well, you can. This hole, uh, the third hole, even shorter than the second, so reachable. But um, a lot of people tend to bail out towards the left. That's the middle of the golf course. And that leaves you a devilish little pitch or short wedge across that big gaping bunker that protects both the uh, third and the 15th green. So once again, I want to drive the ball down the right side. But there's a series of pot bunkers there. Here we go. This one starting a hair right. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. 
We have to try out some of these new shot so types, aren't we? Drive, and not much needed to carry here for his second. This is a spinner. The wind is against me. So if we just put it up there. Could sit and stop. Yep. A bit far. No to begay down on three green to look at this putt for birdie. And not much up or downhill here, so speed not a consideration. All that needs to be looked at is the movement from left to right. Left to right. Thank you for the heads up. No. Nah, that was low from uh. the start. So that safely in. It's a par here at the third. And he'll remain eight over for the tournament. You might be asking, why have so many of golf's greatest course architects drawn from the old course? Well, here's a good example. It's about the options. Couple of ways to get after a hole. You can take a risk and you would be rewarded by going toward that narrow valley on the right. But there's always a price to pay. Safer play is to go for the plateau on the left. Again, all about options at the old course. I think we can clear it. Yeah, nice. Really good kick there. That had to be in the rough. The whole way. One more bounce back on the fairway. Gotta think this an extra half club or more as he sets for a second into the wind. An extra half club. Don't be ridiculous. I'm going to aim right the way out here and try and swing her in. Too much, too much. Wrong club. Arr! That's got to be disappointing. Good line in the fairway and the approach winds up in the bunker. Third shot coming up now from the bunker. Oh, and here we go, down the hill. Well, that's out. That's the important part, but this is well short of where it needed to be. It's uphill and then downhill, so I'm going to kind of leave it where it is, I think. Wow, that broke so hard. Yeah, he wanted that to go a little more, but that's not too bad from there. That one finished off. It is a bogey here at four. And he'll continue his slide. He is at nine over par. Still believe I'm going to get ten under? <laughs> well, here's a real scoring opportunity. The first par five on the front side Come on. at St. Andrews, the fifth hole. It's only 514 yards. That greenhouse, this is a football field deep. The key here, yet again, avoiding the big bunkers. They're called the Seven Sisters bunkers off the tee. If you do that, you'll have a great chance to get home in two. Get home in two? And just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Got to get a bit lucky here. Kind of need to roll onto it. Oh, shush. What the hell was that? You see the angle? My thumb went off there. Don't you dare. Oh, that's killed me. 
That second shot got all the way down by the green, but in the bunker. So we'll have to see what the explosion shot can do from here. Really need a birdie right now. Let's get lucky. It's such a clean shot. I never get a clean blast, ever. Oh, my God. Yeah, look out. Kind of sculled that one, and that's going to be over the green and into the rough. shot and good chance for a par the statistics on the PJ tour show that from eight feet you make 50% of your putts <laughs> no I don't that's gonna leak out to the right and trickle away Not did that look like it lent there. that far to the left to you okay that's gonna be finished off for his bogey and that's gonna move him all the way down to plus 10 now to the 374 yard par 4 6 another scoring opportunity yeah, just be very careful of the wind conditions here because that'll affect the strategy off the tee but bunkers left and right to be avoided don't hit the cameraman that's all i ask Okay. Not a whole lot left to go here as he'll set up his second for this par four. Bit of backspin. Spinner. Yeah, let's put the spinner on it. Why does it go left? Just gave that way too much. That's because normally. That's uh, of green between ball and hole a look here at birdie yeah and it's certainly no gimme from this length it would be a brucey bonus to find the bottom of the cup main consideration has to be about pace it's breaking too much Nah, that's a bit timid and that's got to leave him a lot more than he'd like just five feet left and which way is it breaking? Does anyone know? It's almost impossible to tell. Oh, get out of it. That's the cruelest thing about this game, Rich. I mean, it's just now it's another shot. Okay, it's a bogey here at number six. And that's going to drop him even further down the leaderboard. I've got so much work to do just to get back to where we started. This is Continuing horrible. From the oldest championship in the game. It's the Open Championship at the Come Open on. Course at St. Andrews. Here at the seventh hole now, Frank. Yeah, you try and hit your tee shot over a, a little uh, stone there. It's called the March Stone. That's a good line for, like, left of center. And, uh, well, if you can just work it off that, good tee shot. You're only going to have a pitch in here to a, a green that's set up very high. Oh, hello. Where's that going? In, tucked in the back right here as he readies his second. It's not bad. That's probably one of the best approach shots I've played all day. That's a good shot. And more importantly too, a green in regulation. So birdie chance. It's downhill. Breaking left to right. Go on, go on! Ah, uh, the pace, absolutely perfect there. Down the slope, it's in for a birdie. And a rare step in the right direction as that scores back to 10 over par. 
So if I can just three eight, Frank, what's the best way to go at it? Well, for these players, straight at the flag. This is the first par three you'll see, and a good chance to make two coming up ahead. But we do see a lot of long putts here with an errant tee shot. Gone left. Okay, safely aboard. It's breaking left. It's going downhill. Don't go past it. Okay, that in for par here at the eighth. And he'll remain at plus 10. If I can get us down to nine over, I think it's possible we could get Always back to par. To finish your first nine holes on a positive note here at the Open Championship. Yeah, the ninth hole, this is the most extreme part, furthest away from the clubhouse um, in the middle of the loop here. A good drive, though, that avoids those bunkers has every chance of finding this par four with your tee shot. This one starting up that left side. And that will do just fine. Little bit more and I'd have been on the green there. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, to be fair. The big drive got him here. Now a short one for his second. All right, so we want to pitch there. And then we want to sit still. Oh, that's gone very left. That's the right distance, though, wasn't it? Come on, let's get the spurdy. Come on. Approach shot here at the ninth, and a good opportunity to finish this side with a birdie. Oh, you son of a no, bitch. That's not on target. And he just hasn't been able to make much happen here. Cannot read the greens. The and that will make this an even 40 for the front side, four over par. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Starting off the backside here at St. Andrews with the 340 yard par 4 10th, named in honor of the great Bobby Jones, 1927 Open champion and 1930 amateur champion. Right center off the tee, ideal here. The fairway narrows around 280 yards, but the green is drivable. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Join me again tomorrow and see if I can somehow pull this back. We're going to need a birdie on every hole to even qualify for the next round maybe then we could do something but that is such a huge ask my putting is just if i could just get the camera low enough that i could see the lay of the green i think it would drop half of my putts it really would but anyway thank you for watching i'll see you next time till then take care goodbye for now